So in today's video, I am going to debrief about the week. I'm going to explain why this happened right here, whether we made a profit from it. And if you're a good trader, contrary to popular opinion, why you need to start thinking about taking calls possibly. So firstly, let us take a look at the volume. Now this was on Friday and take a look at the volume. We were at at least 133 million. Now previous days, we were probably at the most at 75 million. This was maybe at 65 million. Now the volume effectively doubled. Now what does this tell you? It just tells you that people are fearful. This is a sign of fear. People are just offloading their positions. Now is this fear rational? Now that is the question we need to analyze and figure out today. So what exactly caused this red candle on Friday? Or in fact, what caused this red candle on Thursday even? Now we see that we had a really strong range level here, which we called out by the way, this was about a 435 level here. And we closed on Friday at about uh, 426. Now, if you have watched my daily videos, I mentioned that if Powell mentioned about 75 basis points, or if there is any indication of this, we would be trading in this zone and possibly even below to 420. Now I've put links to the videos with timestamps of when I mentioned this in my daily brief uh, in the comments below, you can check it out. And I was talking about a zoning process, right? So this zone here is when we have the possibility of 75 basis points and the market will price that in with a lot of fear. And we talked about this zone here between 450 and 435, where we talked about a possible 50 basis points that the market has already tried to price in the past few months. So we were talking about a possible support level here for the market to rally, possibly to FOMC. Of course, Powell came to speak at this particular moment here and brought the market down with him with some indication of a possible 75 basis points. Now on Friday at about 8 a.m. before the market opened, I mentioned that there has been chatter of a 75 basis points hike in July. We had news of that before the news was released at 11 a.m. There has already been chatter even before the mainstream media talked about it. And with that, what happened if we see the possibility of a 75 basis points, we will be bringing us down to a possible 420. All right, so our Discord server was ready for that. And most importantly, we have experience of seeing the trend being your friend, right? We saw it the day prior in this red day and we traded accordingly as the trend is your friend. So as we turn to the five minutes chart here, we see that there was just no indication of bias coming up, right? So we have been always trying to get right, low high, a low high, or well, the buyers were not even able to challenge the lower high here. You see, when you're lower high here, does not even challenge the previous lower low. You know that the buyers don't even have the strength to mount a reversal, right? You see right here, we have a lower low right here at this very key support level here at ping 44.3. Now, you see how it follows all these key lines. We started flagging here, we formed a lower low, right? And then we started having some retracement and we couldn't break through, right? So the next lower high could not break through the previous lower low and we saw resistance at this pink 443 and it continued headed down. Now we see once again, we met with some very good strong resistance at a key orange level here. Likewise, see here, just not be able to mount a form of reversal because we had very strong rejection from this top wick here. 
and we aren't able to start even flagging at this area and we continue to head down. Now, this was on Thursday, right? And we learned a very key lesson on Thursday on our Discord server. So members learned this very important lesson about how the trend is your friend. Now, don't be betting on a reversal until a very clear pattern presents itself. And on Friday, we continued the pattern. As you can see from here, right? We have key rejection straight from the orange level, right? And we started flagging around the yellow level and you see how the yellow turned into a very strong resistance right here. Continue headed down. Now you see a lower low right here. Okay, and you see that the higher, the lower high isn't able to even test the previous lower low and you started heading down again, right? And we start to meet again at the yellow level, strong resistance of yellow level, right? And once again, strong resistance of the yellow level. So all together, the yellow level has became support for a short while, but it wasn't able to retest the previous lower low. We retested again the yellow level and it got even lower. You didn't even get back to uh, the previous highs of this new wave to form a consolidation. So buyers are just completely missing, right? So can you tell from this structure here? that buyers are just not turning up. Volume profile, it's quite lateral, right? And even from the same support, you're not able to test at a higher price, which wasn't even able to test from the previous lower low. Now, this is where we measure and see that the selling pressure is dominant. And we started flagging around yellow and the yellow has turned into resistance, right? Over half an hour, yellow has turned resistance, double top, triple top, bam, all the way down. And you see every time it tested the resistance here, the lower low just got lower. So by the time it hits this the third time, most likely it's gonna head all the way down. And we closed at the pink level here as we designated. So everything still went according to the key levels and it's important to have key levels like this. It provides a guide for you. It really makes trading so much easier. Now the way to profit from this sort of market is to have your market context, to know it very well, know how to trade according to the context and most importantly to trade the trend. The trend is your friend until you see some form of confirmation structure. Now, I took a look at our Discord server and I can tell you we probably had one of the best week of trading so far. And also from my DMs, people privately message me instead of sharing in the group. I think we had a really good week this week. And one big reason was because of the understanding of the market context. We need to know what are the zones that are available so we do not create some form of directional bias and we have some context on where the possibility of the markets can go. Secondly, I realized that the profitable traders will not fight the trend. You see the trend going down. You don't see any form of reverse so, right, take a look at SPY. There's just no form of reversal. It's just lower high, lower high. And the new lower highs just can't test the previous lower lows. So in such instances, we will always be trading the trend, right? The trend is your friend and that's the only way to be making money. But yet, I am dying to take calls. And let me explain why. Because a good trader will be thinking three steps ahead of the market. Now, while we are trading the trend and profiting from it, we are thinking of taking calls as soon as we can. As I told you in my previous video, I'm dying to take calls. Because firstly, the best time to take calls is when the market is fearful. And the second time, if you want to take calls and you take it at the bottom, you can imagine the profits that comes thereafter. Now, I mentioned that I had open puts. I taken it right from 460, right? And I have a strategy for that. I will put the links in the comments. Now, when the market was rallying like this so crazily, right? You have to be thinking while you're trading the trend, 
back in your mind, you must be thinking, how do I get into puts? And you try to get into puts as much as you can. And let me show you how much more puts I have open. Right, take a look, I'll put it at the screen on the side. Now compared to the amount of calls that I tried to take here versus the number of puts that I've taken. Right, from this level I've taken some, from this level I've been taking puts as much as I can and taking calls as much as I can. Now when we are reaching this level here right now, guess what I'm going to do? Or even here. Maybe, right? I had no chance to take calls from here because right from the get-go, we started selling and right from the start of the day in the Discord, I told members that 75 basis points is on the table. So we are heading down to 420, maybe 425, 420, and we closed at 426. So no, no, no calls here at all. But right now at this level, Am I going to start taking calls or plan to take calls? Absolutely. With good risk management, of course. Now, if we take a look at my swing trades for SPY and I put on my portfolio or on the right or the left of the screen, wherever it's convenient, you see I have calls open. But take a look at the puts. I'm still making money, right? And at the end of the day, what you want to be doing is that you want to try as much as possible, catch the bottom, take early profits so that it covers you for the upside. Likewise for your puts as much as possible so that you're always protected and always being able to profit whether you're going up, whether you're going down. Now this takes away so much stress away when you are day trading. And trust me, it takes some practice, but once you get to do this, right, you try to catch, be at the back of your mind. How am I going to plan to take calls in the best risk management way as possible? Right. Take calls with good risk management, get involved and cover yourself all the way up. Right. Sometimes you lose money. That's fine. I don't have a perfect 100% win rate. But at the end of the day, if you're covered and your trades are protected and you go back home with a profit, that's good enough. You're always winning and that's what matters. I will make analysis and our daily brief for Monday. I will tell you what are the things I'm looking out for, what are the plays that I'm expecting for this week, give you more market context as we lead up with a very major earning season right this week will be strong strong earnings season uh, with all the large caps reporting in and one week a precursor to the fomc meeting in the first week of may so it's going to be a very very crucial week am i still taking calls absolutely and that's what good traders should be doing thinking three steps ahead so enjoy your sunday and for discord members i will see you monday morning for our daily brief so thank you for watching and have a good day ahead